One of the greatest mysteries on this earth is how to disassemble Bachmann's HO scale Acela power cars. I decided with the new year that I wanted to redo the wiring and the decoder setup so I can get alternating ditch lights and reduce light bleed from the LEDs. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to disassemble this since I have to do it anyway. First thing I do is snap off this back piece, this uh, piece of the vestibule, I guess. It just kind of clips in. Next, the nose you're going to want to pull off. It is also a clipped in piece. One of the clips on my nose piece broke off when I first disassembled this long ago. So I put a piece of styrene that was the same width as the clip and used a little bit of Elmer's glue to hold the nose in place when it was reassembled. It pops off easy enough if you need to get back into it. Next, this front piece just kind of slides off the front. It is a press fit and the only thing holding it in place is the nose itself. I'm going to use a small drop of Elmer's glue on the sliding part there to uh, hold it in place a little bit more securely when I reassemble this, I think. It'll be easy enough to break that bond if I need to, God forbid, ever get back inside this thing. So that's the easy part. Next is probably the hardest part of this entire operation. That is getting the clips under the front bogey chassis to release themselves from the chassis itself. Toothpicks here can help. I like to use the round ones, but uh, just don't be afraid of breaking the toothpick. It's, it's a lot better to break the toothpick than the model. The piece that clips into the chassis is just in front of the opening doors, and you kind of have to just wedge toothpicks in and use your nails and really just kind of hope and pray that the shell spreads wide enough that those clips disengage. When the shell does finally come free, you're going to lift it from the front. And then I push it back just a little bit and just keep lifting the front. I'm pushing the shell back, it should just slide off the chassis at this point. This back rear piece will probably snap off. It's really just a clip in onto this part of the chassis here. And with that, you have a disassembled Bachmann Acela. At least you have the shelf off the chassis. Now, certain detail pieces are very much at risk for being broken off here. These little lift rings at the very back, I've already had to make a replacement of this piece uh, out of styrene. The steps underneath the doors are also very much at risk for being broken off. Uh, Bachman has told me that the only way to get a replacement is to just buy a new shell. So I guess I'm spending $60 at some point this year to replace those steps. You also want to be careful of the windshield wipers and the pantographs and all the roof detail. That is very much at risk for being broken if you're not careful here. And well, that's pretty much it. What I'm going to do is uh, replace the Decoder Buddy Mini with a bigger Decoder Buddy uh, V5. And the lighting is going to be redone with some separate LEDs. I'm going to get rid of the light pipes because I'm tired of the light bleed and the uh, red tail lamps coming on when the headlights are on, and uh, from what I can tell, modern day Acela does not use uh, the flashing dish lights at the railroad crossings, but Acela in 2005-2006 did, and since mine is one of the older models with the red Amtrak lettering on the side, I kind of wanted to be accurate to that era. So I'm going to wire up some separately flashing dish lights for when the horn and bell are sounded. And well, that's going to do it. 
Uh, to reassemble, you're going to want to essentially reverse all those steps, uh, slide it in from the back, and press it down on the front. If you're adding DCC or sound or just trying to perform general maintenance, uh, good luck. This is a pain in the ass, but hopefully watching this video you'll feel a little bit more confident that it can be done and that you can do it. So good luck out there, and I'll see you on the next one.